Made Famous TV. Most of the time, if you hear a song and you hear a wild time in the beginning, you know it's me. You gonna hear it. It's gonna it's gonna be stuck with you. Okay, yeah, I'm, right now I'm still working on my first mixtape, Wild High Demand. It's coming out soon. I ain't got no exact date on it because I want to make sure it's perfect and for the fans to real life be able to put it on repeat and so it can go everywhere. So everybody can relate to it. And it, it's, it's gonna be out this world for real. Honestly, I've been working on this project for about a year and I'll make a song and I feel like they deserve to go on there more than that. But it's it's really a mix of new and old songs for real that nobody still haven't heard because I stopped dropping everything just to build my catalog or whatever. So it's it's gonna be one of them remember for sure. My main artist growing up this two was Tupac, like Tupac, 50 Cent, T.I. So I'm really I'm really like an old school person for real, cause I'd rather prefer to listen to Tupac more than a little Uzi Vert. <laughs> I mean, some of them, they, I feel like once they get mainstream, they just say anything and just, they, they'll have some hit songs, but most of the time, I really can't vibe with it, honestly. No hating intended. <laughs> my pop started the name because it's me, him, and my little brother, Iris. Ear and ear, that's three E's. Like that, that's self explanatory for real. Triple E and time. I feel like we got a talent. Wait, I feel like we got a lot of talent, but most of the time we overlook because it's a little small country and state for real. Like, people really just don't make it out. When I performed in um, Law, my, my little cousin, I, I ain't even want to perform for real. My little cousin, he seen this girl, <laughs> and he went up to her, he, he told her I was a rapper. She didn't believe me, I, I guess she didn't believe him. But he called me over there and she was like, if you perform, I'll give you my number. So I went to perform, and I, I feel like <laughs> that, was, that was stupid, I shouldn't have did it, but you know, I got a number at the end of the day. I'll wake up, honestly, I'm not a morning person for real. I'll wake up around 12, 1, brush my teeth, get started, and then come in the studio until like 10, 11, 12 o'clock. Last track I worked on. This Codeine Crazy remix. I had, I had to finish that up because it's going on the mixtape too. Everybody been asking about it every day on my DMs. <laughs> Social media helped a lot because you, you really ain't gotta have a label for it. If you got a big following, you can sell you can sell whatever and people gonna follow you. You just gotta bring the fan base in. I feel like he 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 has some catchy hooks and anything he say people gon people gon rock with it. And Kendrick Lamar too. I love Kendrick Lamar. You know it's new faces and really if, if they they'll rock with you harder out of state than sometimes in your hometown because you know when you in your hometown you trying to do something positive everybody ain't gonna rock with the movement. But support come more from strangers than anybody else for real, and that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, I choose this over and over again. Like I love it. I got a passion for this. My favorite artist. I 
I say my cousin, my cousin, Young Tony. Cause every time we in the studio, we we just vibe. Cause we've been doing this since like that's who I really started working with for real. Like back in 2012. Ever since then, we've been we've been rock solid with it. I feel like it needs saving. <laughs> It needs saving because a lot of like the nigga six nine, I can't I can't I can't rock with that. Like the whole rainbow color hair and that. And P I feel like people just do stuff for attention, and I can't rock with it. Yeah, future. That's the only. Wait. Yeah. Hold on. That's who people compare me to Future and people say I got a strong voice like Future, but sometimes when I be talking to people that say I sound like Lil Yachty, I'm like, where, where do you get this? Like I don't I don't get it. In ten years, what how old am I now? Twenty. I'll be well I'm finna be twenty one. So about thirty one. I see myself, I really see myself a being, you know, like, because I got so much plan, and if everything, if I execute every plan I got correctly, it's gone. We finna take off in the next year or two. Yeah, you know, every family have problems. Me and my cousins, we didn't, well, we didn't have problems, but business-wise, everybody was butting heads. And we just had to work through the little kinks and everything all good now. Like me and my cousin Liberace, we got this project coming up too. Me and my homeboy Diego. Shout out to Diego too. Oh, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at the real three underscore wall. Spotify, iTunes, any platform. Get ready to download that wild high demand. It's coming soon.